Dentists face many ethical dilemmas in their careers. One such dilemma is how to incorporate new technologies into a dental practice. New technologies offer plenty of benefits, such as keeping the practice competitive in today's modern era. The technology-driven consumer demands the latest in treatment practices, and a new technology may make the practice more efficient and reduce costs. However, along with these benefits come some drawbacks. Every new technology comes with a learning curve, and until the dentist becomes proficient, new therapies can be more time-consuming than traditional methods. In addition, the initial cost of a new technology can be high, and it may take time for the technology to pay for itself. This can present an ethical conflict to the, to the practitioner. At what point does the dentist increase their fees to cover the cost of investment? Is it right to charge full price for a treatment technique that the dentist is not yet proficient in? Hmm. All right, I'll go with this one. Wow. That is not cheap, but I think it'll help bring in new patients. Besides, the sales rep said that the equipment will pay for itself as long as I'm willing to sell the concept to my patients and add a little convenient surcharge to the cost of my crowns. I know that CAD CAM preps may be more conservative than traditional onlay and crown preps, but I still don't trust the bonding mechanisms fully. I also don't have much experience in designing the restorations, and it may be a while before I can produce a predictable restoration that looks good and fits well. But I'm excited about the possibility of creating some, some same-day crowns. But what will I do about charging my patients extra for the convenience, especially when I have my own doubts? How can he ethically resolve this situation? Should he admit to his patients that he's still learning the process? Should he offer a discount until he feels comfortable? New technologies can provide a whole lot of benefits to a practice. Let's take a look at what's at stake and who the stakeholders are. In the case of CAD CAM, the idea of same day crown fabrication and delivery can offer a lot of benefits to both the dentist and the patient. The patient gets to minimize the number of appointments and reduce the amount of time that the patient needs to spend at the office. The dentist can also use those saved appointment times for other patients, maximizing the use of, pra of practice operatories. However, new technologies come with a learning curve. A practitioner is unlikely to do their best work the first few times they use a new technology. This can be alleviated somewhat by attending training courses, but there's no substitute for a live patient case. Failure to provide the best services can lose the, patient, or can lose the practice patients, put the dentist at risk for malpractice suits, and, in the short term, cost more money than the traditional treatments. Now, there are several ethical principles at play here. First is the principle of non-maleficence. New technologies may be less, less effective than traditional treatments and can cause more harm than other treatment options. In addition, beneficence is also of concern. The dentist should provide the best care possible, which requires becoming skilled in a new technology prior to providing services to the patient. The patient should also maintain autonomy and have some choice after learning the pros and cons of a new technology as compared to traditional treatments. Lastly, veracity comes into play, as the dentist should be upfront and honest with his patient regarding his experiences with CAD CAM. There are several potential options to resolve the dilemma. One, he can explain the pros and cons of CAD CAM versus traditional crowns and offer the patient the choice between the two treatments. Two, he can only offer CAD CAM service, but provide a discount for the first few patients until he feels confident that he can provide the same quality service as traditional crowns. Three, he could attend CE courses and practice on simulators and typodons, allowing him to improve his skills prior to offering the services to a patient at full price. Hmm. I think the best choice is to give the patient the option especially since I don't feel very confident yet. I'll just explain the pros and cons and the risks of CAD CAM versus a traditional crown. Allowing the patient to choose between them is really the most ethical option. 